I'm aware that not everybody likes to track their stats. If you're not used to it, it can be quite the hassle to get the numbers. But after a while it becomes like second nature. But I think we can all agree that once you have some numbers down, it's a lot of fun to look at your stats and your graphs. Graphs like this, like this, or like this. Okay, the most important two points first. Number one, green means enter stats here. The rest is off limits. If you enter anything in any other field, you might delete a formula and the sheet doesn't work anymore. Number two, don't delete any fields. Some fields may look empty, but they can still contain a formula. With those two points out of the way, we can start. First, a little overview over all the pages the sheet has. The first one is the stats sheet. Here you enter all the stats you record every day. The second one is the reading volume sheet. This one is to make reading over your learning journey a little bit more comparable. But I'll go into a bit more detail later on. The third one is the reading sheet. Here you can track your reading time and the amount of unknown words you encountered in books. The next one is the XP bar. Here you can see your level and how close you are to reaching the goals you set yourself. And the fifth one gives an overview over some basic stat calculations that are not covered in graphs. The sheets I left out are either just calculations you don't need to look at or like the numbers 1 to 13 contain the graphs. Next I'll go into a bit more detail for the important sheets. I won't explain every field, but for most of them I added a memo to give you a basic explanation what they are for, if they are not self-explanatory. For the stats sheet the most important fields are the basic stats. Those are the ones you will enter every day. The first two lines are sentences added and words added. Sentences added is the number of sentences you edit, or rather learned, in Anki each day. Words added will be the same number as sentences added most of the time. But if you add, for example, five sentences, with four of them containing one unknown word, but one sentence contains two unknown words, then the number in the second field would be six. The next four fields, reading, listening, passive listening, and Anki should be self-explanatory. Here you just add your times. The field for Anki also includes the card creation time, if you want to track it. The two lines in shadowing are for pitch focused reading and for normal shadowing. In the article section you have two lines, the amount of words and unknown words. Unknown words should be self-explanatory. The five fields for amount of words are for five articles you can enter. I will show you how to count this number at the end of the video. And the last block is for the monolingual transition. You have three lines. Wild sentences for how many sentences you found while immersing. Dictionary sentences for the amount of sentences you added to understand definitions. And full Japanese sentences for the amount of cards that were in full Japanese in the end. So Japanese sentence and definition. For example, you find five sentences while immersing and add them to Anki with Japanese definitions. To understand those definitions, you have to add 15 sentences for the unknown words. For those, you use English on the back. In this case, the fields would be five, 15, and 5. I won't go into detail for the monolingual transition here, because this would take a little bit longer. On screen now you can see the numbers from my sheet, so it is a little bit easier to understand. In the reading volume sheet you do a reading test every 10 days. 
the sheet will use this number together with your reading time you enter in the first sheet to give you a rough amount of characters you read each day. As your reading gets faster, the amount of characters you can read in a given time will go up, and so your reading volume. The test is simple. You read a text of any length, but it doesn't need to be too long. It should take only a few minutes. After that, you count the amount of characters the text has. As I said before, I'll show you how to count this at the end of the video. At the end, you will enter this number plus the amount of time it took you to finish the text in fields R1 and T1. As you can see from the sheet, you can do up to three different texts, but you don't have to. Try to choose material that comes close to your current reading material to get a more accurate result. And the last sheet I'll go into a little bit more is the current stats sheet. The only values you have to enter here are at the top of the sheet. I left some numbers in there so you have a reference for how the format has to be. The fields start with the starting date. This is the date you started using the sheet, not the date you started learning Japanese. The second field is for the initial duration you set yourself. You can always adjust this later. You can use one year in the beginning and set your goals accordingly. Once you reach the end of the year, you can change the number to 2 and adjust the goals accordingly. But you could also take a longer number from the beginning. That's up to you. The next two fields are for your goals, for reading time and listening time per day. The field starting date original is for when you started learning Japanese. If you started Japanese two months before starting to use the sheet, then you have to enter this date. If both dates are the same, the field should be empty. The field reading start date is similar to the one before, only this time for reading. If you already read in Japanese for one month before you started using the sheet, then you have to enter the corresponding date. The last five fields are for your goals. The example here would be no goals for now for shadowing and pitch focused reading, for reading and listening a goal of 1000 and 1100 hours, and for sentence cards added the goal is 10,000. If the card field is empty the sheet will use 10,000 as the default. This is all I want to go through for now. The rest of the sheet and all the, the sheets I didn't show are pretty self-explanatory. Most of it are calculated stats based on what you enter and graphs. A lot of graphs. The tools I use to get my numbers are multi-timer to stop the time. With this you can set as many different timers as you want. Qtally as a tally counter to track the amount of unknown words while reading and word counter to count words, or rather letters in the case of Japanese. Word counter is not an app, it's a browser extension. 